It's too bright. Focus on me. Morning. All right, guys. Good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good morning, and welcome back to my vlog. Welcome back to Keeping Up with Coco. I know it's been a minute. It's been like six. No, it's been like I want to say five, five, six months since I posted a video, and um. I just got to 200 subscribers. Woo! <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, <clears throat> no, but seriously though, I was waiting to at least I got to 200 subscribers. Um, one of my videos is almost at 8K. And I honestly, I woke up this morning, I'm like, I'm gonna film this video because my sister texted me. She's like, why don't you do vlogs? Um, why don't you do YouTube anymore? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I've been thinking about it and I just didn't have a, um, I didn't have a topic or well I do have like topics but I needed some ideas of what it is that I wanted to you know do on my channel so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna motherfucking wing it um I checked and I'm like oh I got to 200 subscribers um and I still I want to thank you guys for subscribing even though when you look you see I haven't posted a video in a while and you guys don't even know if I'm ever gonna post a video again um, yeah, you guys still subscribe, so I want to thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. Um, so a lot has changed over um, these past months. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched all my videos, but if you have watched all my videos, you would notice that I was in a different apartment than I am now. Um, you guys can't see because I'm standing by the window and that light in right now it's amazing but I'm in a completely different apartment and um, it's much bigger it's nicer um, it's closer to the city so where I used to live before I lived in um, I'm just gonna throw it out there I lived in Canton which was I want to say like 45 minutes from the city uh, from downtown Boston and where I am now, I'm not gonna give my exact location, but I am about, I wanna say 10, 10 minutes with no traffic. With traffic, I'm about 15 minutes, 16 minutes away from downtown Boston. So I am much closer to the city, which is what I really wanted. Um, if you know me, you know I love the city. Like I hate the suburbs, I think it's boring, I think there's nothing to do there. Um, and so what I would do is I would spend a lot of my time in downtown Boston. I would, like the clubs are all in downtown Boston. The nice restaurants are in downtown Boston. Um, all the nice things like the nice mall, so like Neiman Marcus, um, Saks, they're all downtown. So I moved. And so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour. So I have to remind you, my apartment is not furnished completely. I brought some furniture from <clears throat> my last apartment. Um, I'm actually gonna show you guys. So right now, I am in my living room, I guess you could say. Um, let's see if I can do it this way. It's, okay, so the lighting's gonna be really bad. <laughs> I wish I could really show you guys. Because it's really bad. So that's my. Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys this, but basically, um, so yeah, this is basically my living room right now. That is the first. That's the couch I had at my old place. I had this at my old place. I had all this stuff. TV. Um, that's Chanel's little corner. Um, that's also Chanel's little corner right here. Say hi Chanel. Say hi mama. So her tooth, one of her tooth actually fell out today. Um, so I don't know how she's feeling, but I think she's fine. She's acting still normal. Um, she's probably sitting here so she could, uh, you know, 
tinkle in a little bit or something because I don't like her tinkling on my floors. Let me know she still does it. The dog's a little weird, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so this is basically what this area looks like. So this is actually my living room. And then if you come on this side, this is my little kitchen. Well, it's not little, so it's actually really big. This is my island. It looks messy right now. It was my birthday last week, so I have some cards, some flowers that are dying. Um, you know, and then my sink and stuff. So what I'm doing today, so yeah, this is my kitchen. So I have a dishwasher, um, more space under the island, um, my sink, and then from here you can, you know, look into the living room. It looks crazy right now. Um, so then if you come this way, I have a washer and a dryer, which is awesome because at my last place I needed to take my laundry to um, the laundromat, so here I don't have to do that, I can wash a pair of undies if I want to. Um, I have closet space, and in here I just have a lot of extra stuff, so I have my sewing machine, I have some winter stuff. Um, just it basically extra storage. This closet is a mess. Um, and you come on this side, I have my bedroom. So I have my bed. Um, I brought all my furniture. All the furniture that I had at my old place, I brought over. See if we can focus on you. So it's like the, oh, there we go. So yeah, this is my bedroom. I actually have a closet. <laughs> so this is my closet. It's not a walk-in closet, but it's a closet. So I love it because here I just hang up my jackets and my really nice dresses that um, you know I like to wear. And I can keep some of my expensive shoe boxes. You know, I got my red bottoms, my Giuseppe's. All of that stuff, all the expensive um, shoe boxes that I like to keep, I have um, in my closet. And then when we come up this way, when we go left, we go into the kitchen. When we go left, we go into the kitchen. And when we go right, we go into this hallway. There's light. Um, come over here. I had this thing, if you guys remember, I had this at my old apartment. And I've decided that I'm just gonna use this for like my purses. Um, so I have just my expensive purses right here. Um, you know, when I get some more, I'm gonna go up there and down there. I have books. And then we come. This is the front door. I have a little pico so I can see who's knocking the door. <laughs> um, so then when you come to the left, you've got the bathroom. And the lighting actually is really awesome in this bio. So, yeah. Oh, I should turn it this way. Yeah, so. So this is my bathroom. And I would say my bathroom is the most, um, is actually the most decorated thing I have right now in this um, apartment. If you guys remember this right here, it was at my last apartment and I was in the bathroom. Um, and it was kind of decorated just the same way. I got this rug from Home Goods, and I got this. And then I have a tub this time. Um, at my last place, I didn't have a tub. It was just like, you know, a shower. I have a tub this time, so um, that's awesome. So yeah, that's basically the apartment, and yeah, oh yeah, and here I just have like my um, here, and so when you come, you go left into the bedroom, and you come out, and this is the living space. Um, 
My favorite thing about this apartment was the windows. Um, that's kind of what drove me to get the apartment in the first place. The windows, um, cause they're big and they bring in a lot of sunlight. So I really like that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the apartment. It was a really quick um, update on, um, it's a really, really quick update. Just so you guys can see um, where I moved to, so you guys can see my new apartment. Um, I'm trying to see. So yeah, basically, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit update on my life and what I have been doing. Um, I still do. Like, I still say hair extensions. Um, I just, honestly, I took a break because on, um, like, marketing and stuff because I just needed to figure out, like, exactly the direction of which I want to go. And honestly, like, I also got discouraged because a lot of people sell hair extensions now. And so it's like, I really have to figure out how I can stand out. Um... You know, in an industry where it's like so many motherfuckers are doing the same shit. So, yeah, basically, that's what I've been doing. I get a lot of questions. Like, I know a lot of people are going to ask me, like, okay, like, um, how I can afford this apartment. Because, like I said, uh, my business is, is a, um, it's a startup. You know, I'm an entrepreneur. Um... I don't work a regular nine to five job, so people always want to ask me like, "Oh, you know, how do I make my fucking money?" And for a while, I was always so like, I want to say like ashamed of this, um, but these days it's like to me, I'm not ashamed anymore because I think that's just who I am. Um, uh, I don't know how to put it, like, it's just who I am, like, I'm an open person, um, I'm capable of fitting in, in, like, any kind of situation that I'm in, or, like, any environment, um, so, I'm just gonna throw it out there that, um, I have, like, sponsors, I'm just kidding, <laughs> oh, you know, my sugar daddy got me the apartment, nah, I'm just kidding, um, I'm kidding, but I'm also not kidding because I don't really consider it as a sponsorship or like sugar daddy, sugar baby dating kind of thing because honestly, to me, I see it, see it as dating. Um, most people will see, okay, if she's hanging out with like an older guy, it means that she's like a sugar baby or he's her sugar daddy. And technically, I don't see it that way because that might be my husband. I might get married to a man who's in his 60s or 50s or who knows, who cares? At the end of the day, it's more personality for me or what that person is capable of doing for me. So I think I am able to survive and I mean like, I wasn't able to start my business without a sponsorship. I didn't have $10,000 to invest in no freaking hair business to buy a whole bunch of hair from China. I didn't have $10,000. I needed someone who had the money, someone who had business um, experience. So I found someone who was able to do that for me. Um, people are going to ask me. I mean, like, honestly, if you guys have any questions about how to meet sponsors or how to meet a sugar daddy or how to date older men that are willing to help you progress your life. Um, that's if you want to start a business, that's if you just need some financial help or ideas on how to uh, be a successful woman. Um, let me know. Um, slide in my DM. Follow me on Instagram at keeping up with Coco underscore. Um, comment some questions under here, and if I get enough questions, I'm gonna answer it because I am 24 years old and I am in a really nice apartment. And I am in a really nice car, and that's not because um, that's not because I have a successful business yet. The 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 point is to get to 
a successful business and be you know this successful entrepreneur but right now I'm not that person so people my age usually aren't doing as well as I as I am and so they always have a lot of questions and um, I just gave you guys my answer I date older men um, I mean they're more useful they're more adventurous they're more willing to you know they have more experience they have more wisdom they're more they're willing to um, you know teach you stuff I, I, and that's not to say I, I don't date younger men or I've dated I just came out of a freaking two-year relationship with a guy that was um, you know in his 20s and it's just it's different I don't have anything against that I, I tried it out for two years um, I love him to death he's my best friend even to this day but it's just it just didn't work out we're at two different points in our lives and we both need to you know figure it out so he's figuring out his life and I'm figuring out my life and so I just find it easier to date older men just because they help me out not only financially but business wise um, and everything and if you're one of those people or one of those girls because I see a lot of these things online where it's like oh I want a sugar daddy but um, if he touched me or like um, what did I say or I want a sugar daddy that doesn't like you know want any sugar I'm sorry but that's selfish and no man's ever gonna do anything for you unless you're I mean not to say no man is there are some people that out there that will help you out and not want to um, sleep with you and meet them every day um, but it's if that's not something you're open to if you're not open to dating because dating literally is like dating a younger a younger man you know you guys go out to date you guys go out to eat if there's a connection yeah they might want to have you know um, get a physical relationship with you so if you're one of those people who is uh, who are against being physical with an older man because somehow it's maybe it's the misconception is that you know I don't know like maybe dicks are wrinkled or balls are wrinkled like I know my mom's probably gonna sit in the house like what the fuck is wrong with this bitch <laughs> But I'm being honest and I'm excited that I'm going to grow my channel under honesty and my honest opinion is if you're one of those females, just stick to your regular no good bum ass young niggas, okay? And um, don't bring that energy over to this channel because I can't help you if you are against that, okay? So. I'm gonna grow my channel. We're gonna take the channel a new direction. Well, we're not taking a new direction because I'm still gonna focus on my business and selling hair. Um, but the direction that I'm gonna go is just how to be a successful woman and how to meet people who are willing to help you be a successful woman. Okay, this is water, but we're gonna toast it up because we're toasting to success. That's all that matters. Who gives a fuck how it comes or where it comes from? All that matters is you're being a successful woman and you're growing your business and you're, you know, planning on doing something bigger with your life. So yeah. Toast to that. So yeah, so that's how I'm able to afford my apartment and afford my uh, car trips, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, I also do, um, especially when I was at my old place, I did DoorDash, I did Uber Eats, um, here and there I get a job, you know, just, you know, um, regular shit, because at the end of the day I still need you know, a little money for little stuff. Um, but for the most part, I'm able to be successful because I'm willing to sit amongst people who have already, who are already successful and who've already started businesses, and they're willing to, you know, help a girl out. Oh, so I want to thank all my, uh, <laughs> all my friends. Um, if you watch this video, thank you. Um, Thank you to my sister. She co-signed the apartment because I'm working on my credit, which is another thing that we're gonna talk about. And my credit actually went up 30 points. Um, so 
That's good. I'm working on my credit. Um, thanks to my sister for co signing. And yeah, and um, yeah, that's how I've been able to be a successful business bitch in this bitch. Okay. I'm gonna load up this dishwasher and um, look at my sink. So I'm gonna load up the dishwasher and then um, we're gonna go to Ikea. I didn't wanna get more stuff from Ikea because most of the stuff in my apartment is from Ikea. But I find Shopping online for furniture to be the hardest thing ever. Like, I'm such a visual person. Chanel, stop. Get off it. Now. Get off. I'm not playing. I'm like, so, yeah, I'm a visual person. Like, I have to see the stuff. And if I think. I've been looking for bar stools online for like a week now, two weeks now, and I literally haven't been able to find anything that I like. So I think I'm just gonna go to IKEA. Um, I also want a new couch, a whole section, sectional. So I'm gonna get a new couch. Look at this <laughs> huge cup my sister got me um, for my birthday. It's cute. Yeah. Um, if you are one of the girls, like a girl like me, who you know, you date young, old men, whatever, don't be ashamed. Let me tell you why you shouldn't be ashamed. And this is no shade to any of the people that I used to know, but I used to have like. Friends, I don't call them my friends anymore. They're not my friends anymore because, you know, people who talk against you or behind your back are never your friends. Um, but I used to have girlfriends or people that I associated with, and um, you know, they would talk down basically on me or like to other people about me and say I do, you know, like oh I, I like I like older men and stuff. Um, you know where they're at? They're at the same place I left them probably either two, three years ago. Um, you know, um, Section 8, food stamps, um, government assistant. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. You know, but they don't have any, like, future goals on um, starting a business or doing anything and I have prospered so much just within a year that it's like who cares who freaking cares don't be ashamed of being who you are if that's something that you're interested in don't be ashamed of um, looking you know for something better for one and better for yourself because trust me the people who talk shit are probably they probably wish they could do it but they just don't have the ability to do it so it took me a while to realize like wow you know even it's crazy because I was dating this dude I was dating this guy for like a year and a half and for a while I felt really like I'm gonna say like ashamed about it because I just didn't know how I was gonna, you know, have him like with my friends and stuff like that. But my real friends, all my real friends actually met the guy and um, you know, they're still my friends to this day. So don't ever feel, don't ever feel like, you know, you need to go 
I guess. Or, you know, you don't ever feel like you need to go, you need to follow the trend or follow what everyone says you need to, you know? The norm, I guess. And I guess the norm is if you're 24, you shouldn't date any guy that's older than like 30. And quite honestly, that's bullshit. Because some men don't mature until they're like 40. And sometimes even in their 40s, they're still dumb and retarded. So, if you want to date a 60 year old in your 20s, bitch, date the 60 year old. Okay, who gives a fuck? Like, who cares? Who cares? Maybe your mom might care, but I know personally my mom doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> All she cares about is me being happy, that's one. And two, that I am being taken care of properly. Why does it, it's not like I'm freaking 16 or I'm like, you know, 15 and I'm dating a guy in his 30s because that's pedophilia, okay? I'm in my 20s. And I'm not even 21, I'm 24. So I'm a grown ass woman, I'm a grown ass adult, I can have kids, I can, you know, can do whatever it is that I want to do. So if I choose to date a guy that's in his 60s, who gives a fuck? Who cares? That's my choice. Who gives a fuck if the next person cares or if the next person doesn't care? Who cares? At the end of the day, they're not the ones putting money in my bank account. They're not the ones making sure I have a roof over my head. And they're not the ones making sure that I freaking take my dog to the motherfucking vet. Okay? So, tell them to mind their business and worry about their bank accounts. <laughs> yeah, I'm silly. Anyways, but yeah. So that's how I was able to move into this beautiful, gorgeous apartment. Um, because I have some friends in my life that are, they care about me, you know? They care about me, they care about me, they care about my well-being, and they care about making me happy. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna take a run to Ikea once I clean up a little bit, and um, I will be back.